Hey there, it's Will Kriske. Today we're going to talk about how to install the Tweet for Track code that's uh, generously given to us by the people at cashmusic.org. So I'm on the cashmusic.org website and down around this area there's a code section and we just click on the Tweet for Track code and in order to get the code they want us to tweet this little message here and also there's a checkbox to follow Cash Music. So this is what your site's going to look like when you want people to tweet for your, your music or whatever file you're, you're giving away. So we'll just click on the Tweet button. And because I was already logged into Twitter, it um, it already sent the tweet, but in your case, you might have to log in. So now we click this link, and we can get the code. So down here, you can see the, the zip file. We just click on that. And we're going to extract it to the, uh, in my case, just to the basic C drive. Close that down. And if we go to the C drive, we'll see see the files underneath the uh, tweet for track directory. So here's a bunch of PHP files and there's a couple of directories. Um, we need to move all this code into onto the server, but before we do that, there's this config.php file that we want to edit. So I'm going to open up that file. There's some good documentation in this file. You can check it out. And it says the first thing you need to do is go to Twitter and get this API key. So that's the Twitter's application programming interface. In order for anybody to send tweets via your website through code, you have to get a key and a secret ID. So let's go do that now. So we're going to copy this uh, control C and we're going to go Oh, I've already got it open here. Twitter.com slash apps. And what we're going to do is we're going to register an application. So if you want, you can pick a file, but I'm not going to do that. This application name needs to be unique. So I'm going to do something like tweet for track demo. We'll just pick this one. Um, description so people need to tweet to get my song. The website is going to be where your tweet, where your code is going to be. So, what I suggest is whatever your website is, and then you put something like TFT, um, and then you put the files underneath a directory called tweet for track just to have them all in one place. So, in my case, I create, I'm going to create a folder called TFT demo. Organization, I'm going to leave that blank. This is the base, my, my basic website, deltafx.com. Application type is a browser, so this is going to happen through browser activity. Now, the callback URL, that's the URL that Twitter is going to call at when it's finished doing its thing, so to send people back to your page. So you're going to want to put in um, this is the file. So you've got your website, the, the, the directory that we, we're going to create for the code, and then there's a, a file in that code called callback.php. Default access type, so do you need to write or just read? Now since we're going to tweet, I assume that we're going to need to read and write. Like we're not just querying the database from Twitter, we're actually going to send a tweet. And we'll say use Twitter for login. And then I have to type in this um, captcha here. Not sure what that is, but let's just try that. I'm able to register. Okay, so let's try this one more time. I'm gonna check this too. <laughs> Didn't like that either. Okay, I think we got this this time. So let's save it. Okay, so now what we want to do is copy the key that we're given here. 
and we're going to go here and put a couple single quotes and paste control V just paste that in and then we go to the secret copy that and we're going to paste the secret now the username is your username your Twitter name without the at symbol so you're going to put in my case Will Krisky now this Twitter ID this is a little bit weird but um, what you want to do is you go to your home page of your Twitter account so you have to be logged in you go down here and there's this RSS feed so if we click on that it'll take us, it'll, we're just trying to get this ID that um, Twitter has assigned to us we just cancel this login here and then what we get is this little number before the dot RSS so we just copy that so we're going to go here, there's no quotes. The callback URL is going to be the one delta effects your website and then the directory, in my case TFT demo, and then so that's the PHP file that cashmusic.org people gave to us. The other couple things is the default tweet. So we're going to want to say downloading free MP3 for a tweet from changes to Will Krisky or whatever your Twitter name is. And then you want to have a URL in here so other people see this tweet, they're going to want to go and click on it. So we're going to want to send them to the tweet page, which is the TFT demo. That's the base directory. So when, when if you're in a browser and you type in a directory like this, it's going to look for the index.php file automatically. So that's why it's, there's no file name there. And then the required content, in my case, I want to have, in the, when somebody tweets, I want to make sure they... Um, they at least have the URL here because uh, you know if, if they don't put that in there then no one else can really go no one's gonna know where to find that that file so you want to send hopefully other people get some viral effect going you could put your file that your, your mp3 or whatever it is up on Amazon in this but I just uh, I already have it on my own server or you could have it somewhere on the internet somewhere so I'm gonna say demo song and then this would be the URL to your actual MP3 file or whatever file you're allowing people to use. So I'm just going to put a dummy URL in here right now, but you're going to want to put the real one in. My demo.mp3, let's say. And this last string, I just left it like that. So we save that. And now that it's saved, we're going to go into our FTP server. So this is where your web hosting is. So I've connected to my host and I want to create a directory to put our PHP files in that we got from Cache Music. So TFT demo. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna go to uh, okay so basically I'm going to go to the, um, i got to get that zip file. So I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to extract it to the C drive. Oops, cancel. Well, I guess it's already there. Oh, there it is. Why am I not seeing that? Oh, sorry, I'm in the wrong directory here. So basically, let's go to the C drive. Okay, now I'm in the tweet for track. So then we're going to go into our TFT demo folder. We're going to shift, we're going to click on the first one and then the last one with a shift button. So we grab all of them and then we're just going to drag it over and let them go like that. close this while we're waiting so we're just moving the files from our local machine to the, to the server and we put them under the TFT demo directory and when we go to TFT demo in the web browser it's going to open up this index file by, uh, by default so everything's been uploaded so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to that directory and you see Here's our 
here's our page that you're going to send people to and then you're going to say um, download you know whatever your tweet was which was in our config file that I set up and then also follow Will Crisk and now since I'm myself I'm not going to do that and I'll say tweet and so what's going to happen is it's going to go to Twitter I'm going to say you know as the individual person has to allow this to happen so that they it'll tweet from your website and then it sends you back to your web page with a link so here's the demo tune and when you click on that it's going to actually download the file so that's pretty much it if we go to Twitter we should see the tweet that I just did right here so that's the tweet so I'm going to delete that because I've done this a bunch of times and I think there's another one here I'm going to delete a few of those I've already I've done this many many times um, so that's basically what there, all there is to it now if you notice here it says click here to download a zip containing the, the tweet for track code and you know instructions so this is kind of the instructions assuming that you wanted the code um, that we used but in this case you just want the you know the the song so what you do is you can look at say the content download file so if we view it you'll see here it's just HTML file it says here click here to download a zip containing a tree code and then all this stuff here on how to download the code so you want to delete all that you can just delete this and save it and so there's a couple other files you know that you're going to want to edit um, if you notice here there's a link there's a image for cache music um, it's the icon so you want to delete that and so there's a few little things you need to do one of the things like if you look at the assets directory images there's a there's a a background there's a gif file in there so if you delete that then you, you get rid of uh, like if you look here you see this little symbol and it says cache music so you're going to want to change that to be your own name of your website so that's where you know if you look at the um, some of these files you'll see the title tag has cache music so you're going to want to make a few tweaks into these other files just to get the uh, custom and then if you want to make it look a little bit prettier um, you know you'll have to do that so hopefully that helps you guys and if you have any questions um, feel free to hit me up and another thing that I had issues with just that I remember is there's a um, you might have issues with PHP uh, you have to make sure you're using version 5 and that might be something you have to change on your specific web host um, I had this .ht, .ht access file that I had to create and say for any PHP file .php to use PHP 5 and so you can just type this into a notepad a simple little text editor and um, if you need to pause this video and just type that in uh, it's just saying that unless it says PHP 4 you know use the new H PHP 5 so I had some issues with the libraries where it was using an older version and it didn't recognize some of the functions that were in the code so if you have that issue you might want to look at that particular line there which says to use PHP 5 and um, anyways that's the end of this tutorial hopefully that helps you guys see ya